Hi, this is Wendy with Verdon Services. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video tonight on what to do with business cards that you get. Right? Because you usually put them in your pocket and you throw them away later, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to solve that problem. Uh, if you have any questions after the video, you can email me at services at raritan.com. That's services at R-A-I-R-D-A-N.com. Or find us at settlerwebsites.ca. So, <clears throat> You are at a meeting, you're at a conference, you're in a social situation, and you get a business card. Yes, we're still using these. These are very, very helpful. Uh, anyway, so you get this business card. What do you do with it? I'll tell you what I do with it. Maybe you'll find your own sort of routine, your own thing in the middle of this. Um, the first thing I do is look for a phone number. I look at the phone number. Is it a direct line? Is it a cell number? Is there an extension? I just want to make sure that I can get a hold of that particular person. I don't want to just contact the company. I want to know how to get a hold of that particular person. So it definitely helps to just sort of check and ask about the phone number. Um, the next thing I do is I ask the person, can I add you? As soon as I get their, their card and I look at the phone number, I go, okay, that's your cell number. Great. Can I add you to our email list? And you're standing right in front of them. Get, the, get their permission. This is very important in email marketing now. You need their permission before you just start dropping emails into their inbox. While you're standing in front of them, get their permission. If they say yes, and they almost always do, sorry, I put a check mark on that business card, stick it in my pocket, and, you know, move on. So uh, now you've clarified the phone number. You've got the business card with all the information on it. You've got permission to use their email address. You get back to your office. And the first thing you do is drop that email information into a spreadsheet. Do something with it. Keep it. First name, last name, email address. I don't care if you don't do email marketing. Keep the information anyway. You might need it later. Sometimes if I start working with a new client on their website, I'll say, hey, have you been collecting any uh, contacts? And they say, no. So they've been open for three years and haven't been collecting any contacts. So when they start to do marketing, they're starting from scratch. Whereas, gosh, wouldn't I wouldn't have loved to send out their first email marketing or sent their first special offer out to a huge list instead of that list. So just keep it in mind for later. I don't care if you're not using it now, you might need it later. Um, so I add that email address to the information I go through and I follow them on all of their social media. I follow them. I connect with them on LinkedIn. I connect with them on Facebook. I, I'm sorry, like their Facebook page. I follow them on Twitter. It helps me keep in the loop of what that particular person's doing, what their company is doing. Um, and if I'm in the loop, then I find places where my services or my business is useful, or I find ways to collaborate with that person, or find ways to cross market. So, uh, yeah, that just sort of keeps you in the loop. The next thing I do in, oh, I know, it's old school. It's old school. But I think it's really, really helpful. So I'll give you the, the modern version and the old school version. I send a card. So this is a super simple, inexpensive card. I get them from Vistaprint. Drop my logo on the front of the card. That's it. I know it's kind of plain. You'd think a graphic artist could have done a little bit better than this. But I wanted something just really simple. Everything's blank on the inside. I write a quick note. It's nice, you know, call them by name. Greg, it was nice to meet you at the at the conference. Um, love to talk to you about such and such. Next time you're in town, let's grab a coffee. Wendy. Put my business card in there. Because you don't know what they do with their business cards. Put my business card in there, drop it in the mail, it's done. People connect with this. <laughs> people connect with this. These are still useful. Mm, this helps people remember you. Now, the modern version of, and of course completely acceptable, is to just send them an email. You've got their email address. You send them an email and say, same thing. Great meeting you. Um, enjoyed the conference. You know, looking forward to lunch next week, whatever. Just just connect on that much of a personal level. That also makes sure that that person has their email, I'm sorry, your email in their box. Excuse me, that was my timer telling me to hurry up. Um, 
Anyway, all of those things make these little cards. This is one I did for a client, right? This is just on one side. She's a safety consultant. This is on one side. And then on the other side, very simple information. Um, it makes these really useful. Okay? So don't just get, don't stuff them in your pocket, get home and throw them all away. You're missing all of those pieces to make really good connections, uh, not just for marketing purpose. Again, you're thinking about collaboration. You're thinking about cross-marketing. You're thinking about even community events that you want to invite people to. Um, a lot of times I um, do things that sounds like a marketing ploy, but it's really just a way that I've figured out to help promote an event in my community or um, a place where I volunteer. So all of that from this one little thing that most people usually throw away. Wendy at, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm Wendy from Roden Services. You can reach me at services at roden.com or Stetler Websites.ca. Uh, Stetler Websites Thanks. Bye.